Oh, hi guys. I forgot you were coming. <laughs> oh, and you caught me without an Apple product. You know, yesterday I was at the Apple store, and I was just browsing, I was waiting for my turn at the Genius Bar, and I was looking at all of the Apple logo, and a thought crossed my mind. Twenty years ago, if someone said the word Apple, what would the first thing that come to your mind? Right. A piece of fruit. Not today. It doesn't happen. Someone says the word apple, what's the first thing you think of now? Right again. iPod, iPhone, iMac. It's all apple. You know what? Apple has been part of my life since the first Apple II 64K was introduced. I know that Apple will be part of my life as long as I live. Apple has actually become part of my family. There aren't many activities during the day that don't somehow involve either my MacBook or iPhone or my iPad. You know, when the Apple 64K to Apple II 64K first came out, the operating system, I think, was called Apple Talk. Well, you know, everyone in my family, from my 70-year-old brother to my 8-year-old grandniece, speaks Apple. Now, since Apple has been part of my family for so many years, I'd like to complete the bond and become part of Apple's family. But, of course, in order to become a part of any family that you're not born into, the members need to know you pretty well. And I want you guys to know me. I want you to know who I am, what I've done, and how my experiences in life can contribute to the Apple family. Let's just start with the basics. My name is Bernie Sacco. I live in downtown Salem, right up the street, with my dog Buddy. You know, Salem is a wonderful place to live. I just love walking through the historic district, listening to my iPod, or dropping into the Gulu Gulu, and checking my email on my iPad, or snapping a few historic pictures on my iPhone. I know that looking at old photos can be a real drag, but I, I want to show you a project I've been working on just recently. I've been taking old family photos of me, and scanning them into iPhoto on my MacBook Pro, then uploading to my iPhone, and then onto my iPad. Wow, where has the time gone? And where has the hair gone? My first job out of college was in the retail furniture business, where I learned that every customer who comes into the store is unique and needs to be treated with a set of skills that only comes with experience. My second career was as a unit manager in the fast-paced, multitasking environment of the Mass General Hospital. Here I got the background to deal quickly with problem-solving situations, answer questions immediately, and handle several tasks at the same time. After my experience at the Mass General, I decided I really wanted to teach. So I went back and became certified and luckily was hired immediately by the Saugus Public Schools where I taught for 33 years. I started as a sixth grade teacher teaching current events and social studies. After six years, I retrained, became a computer teacher, and I began the elementary computer program from kindergarten through grade six. After a few years, I moved up to the middle school and taught computers to the older children. I finished my teaching career in the theater department where I directed, produced, and taught drama as a full-time position. I know that all of these diverse career experiences can come together and allow me to be an asset to the Apple Store. The skill set developed from working with customers, parents, children of all ages, new technologies, and different environments will allow me to become a contributing member of the Apple family. I can be the I know man. I know I can sell, I know I can teach, I know I can service, I can answer questions, and I know I can be a great new member of the Apple family. I know I can. I know that I can help kids, their parents, and their grandparents. 
I know that I can't have a spiked mohawk, but I know Apple, and I know that I can be a good member, a great member of the Apple family.